What's up guys, welcome back to a video where it's your guy Deion Davis, the owner of Google Landscapers. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me for this week, and I'm gonna show you what it's like to be an excavation contractor, take you guys along with a week in the life of a, a solo entrepreneur, uh, excavation contractor. I'll tell you this much, this morning actually, uh, it's only 8.46 a.m. and I've already called six customers, either trying to close jobs, trying to come either come give them a quick estimate, or just different things of that nature, and uh, yeah, that's what we started off doing. And right now I'm actually pulling up to a client's house to actually give them an estimate for a 16 by 26 foot shave removal. So we'll see if we can get that closed up and uh, maybe knock it out this upcoming week or maybe next week, we'll see. But yeah, stay tuned here with me. I'm gonna, we're gonna jump into this and I'm gonna show you what it's like to be in my shoes and be an excavation contractor and you know, make some big profits. So let's do it, let's get it. All right, right here is a 16 by 26 shed that I he wants me to demo, take it down. Uh, it's pretty big, but it's older. It's been around since 1916 for 100 years, guys. This shed's been sanding, which is pretty amazing, but I just feel like they used to make things better. But yeah, here's a shed. All right, guys, I just left from that customer's house. Um, I'm headed over to the dump right now. I actually closed a job with them. Um, a nicer, uh, they're a nice older couple. Um, it was a great conversation. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think I close a lot of my jobs because I just I'm able to talk to people and connect with them, and I'm I'm a people's person, you know. So just close that one. I should be getting it done later this week on Thursday or Friday because that's when they need to get it done. But right now we're heading over to the dump, and I'm gonna dump all this wood off the back of my trailer and uh, do it like that, man. It's uh, 9.46 uh, a.m. So I was in there talking to with them for about 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Got to pull forward. All right, I'm waiting in the line. I looked at this card he gave me. This thing says $72.65 per ton. That's insane. I don't know if I'll be coming to this dump anymore. It's way more expensive. Uh, usually, I haven't come to this dump in a long time. And the last time I came to the dump, all I had was a uh, brush. So, I don't know. This is uh, debatable, to say the least, because $72 per ton is crazy. But, yeah. So, it cost me $58.85 down that bottom right corner, as you can see there. I know some of you guys in the other states, uh, it's a little more expensive, but... Over here in Florida, that's that's expensive for uh, dumping. But I've noticed the dumping rates have been going up more recently because of the economy, obviously. But I had 1,620 pounds, so I didn't even have a full ton, and I paid 58 bucks. I should've just went to the city dump out in Orlando, Orange County, but hey, it is what it is. All right, so I forgot to film yesterday, but this morning I'm heading over to uh, do this one small job it's just gonna be me picking up a little bit of debris for some money um five hundred dollars to be exact but it's only, gonna, it's only gonna take me a little bit of time because all i gotta do is go over there pick up this uh debris that the customer already did all the work for and then uh, take it over to the dump so that's my plan for this morning um so we're starting off it's uh 8 55 right now i'm gonna get to the customer's house on 9 07 it says and uh it's tuesday so Yesterday, I finished off yesterday by uh, making some phone calls, sending over that quote and estimate for that customer I closed yesterday, because um, I will be going to do that job on Friday, actually. Um, I know I might, I might have said Thursday previously, but Friday is just a better day for me and my company, and uh, I discussed with the customer and told her, relied, relayed that information to her. So this Friday, we'll be going to knock out that shed. Right now, I'm gonna go to this job this morning, and. Uh, I think I'll go dump to mine as well. I mean, so I just, my trailer's not full of uh, random uh, brush and uh, branches and whatnot. So I might as well just get rid of it. All right, so this is the pile right here. Shouldn't take me more than 40 minutes, I'm thinking. But uh, I'm gonna go talk to the customer first and uh, put you guys on time lapse once I'm doing it so you guys can see. But yeah, easy pickings cut down a tree that was there. This is one of my previous customers, if you guys haven't noticed. I grounded out some stumps here. And uh, I did uh, some work. Um, that's a crazy looking stump, I grounded it all out. Dang, it's looking good. And I did the work in the back. 
Let's take a look. Let's see how it's looking. Hopefully the dog's not outside. Are you trying to grow back the grass and everything? That's pretty sweet. Oh, look, Hopper is out. Don't even notice me. But yeah, they put some hay down over here. Pretty nice. Let me talk to him. cleaned up it's actually a lot more than i expected like how it fits in the trailer but it's brush i mean it's dense pretty dense but yeah it fits in there almost fills the whole trailer which is pretty decent can't take me too long looks pretty good i wanted to get the fine details because i like these customers a lot great people easy to work with and those are the best customers so whatever i had to do make them happy that's what we want to do because you get jobs like this, which is great. And um, yeah, sometimes they get a little bit more. Sometimes it's like a give and take. Sometimes like a little more, sometimes they get a little more, get a little easier job. And sometimes a little bit harder job, you know, just how it is. It's a decade of drawing this business. But as long as we're both wanting to, uh, we're both working the will, working, it's not, it's tired, I'm tired. But uh, as long as we're both willing to work with each other, it's like a seesaw type of thing where sometimes they get a little more out of it and sometimes I get a little more out of it, then it's gonna work because then that's how you build a great relationship with your customers. And um, that's just what's being done here. And luckily they only live 10 minutes from me, so it's even better. So, yeah. So I'm gonna show him, we'll go over to dump, dump this. And then, yeah, we'll see what the day has for us today. It's a good start. Yep. All right, so that job's finished. $500 took literally 20 minutes. Only It's only 9.33. And I actually talked to him longer than I actually did the work. Um, not to say like I was trying to scam or finesse, but I'm offering a premium service because I'm, I'm, I'm offering things that average people just don't have access to. Like my dump trailer, my truck, pulling this, taking it over to the dump, everything in that nature. Um, so that's the reason why. And um, yeah, so that's just what it is. So right now I'm about to drive up to the dump. I'm about 40 minutes out from it. Cause uh, I gotta have my dump trailer open because I don't know what's gonna pop up, but I can just go knock out really quick. Or I know on Friday I'm gonna need my dump trailer open. So there's no point for me to procrastinate and uh, not go ahead and dump this. So I got it tarped up right now. We go head over to the dump together. I'm gonna dump it. I'm hoping it's like 20 bucks cause it shouldn't be that heavy. Everything I picked up was super light. And uh, yeah, it's very dense, but it's light. So I'm hoping that it's not too crazy in price. So we'll see. But on this job, the reason why I uh, kind of made a lot more profit is because originally they wanted me to grind down a stump for more additional money, obviously. And I was gonna go rent a st that stump grinder, same one from Home Depot and uh, grind it all down, you know, and get it all uh, cut down for them. But uh, what they decided to do when they cut down this bush that I had back here in my uh, trailer, they just decided to go as low as they could with a chainsaw. And I was like, listen, yeah, I can save you some money. I don't suggest you can get a, you should, I should get a stump grinder to grind it down because it's already low enough. And um, that's what we kind of did there. And then since I kind of cut the price, they kind of get a, a guy like win because all they really need now is to get the debris done. And uh, I won because I don't have to go get a stump grinder rental with Home Depot and all that gym jazz and I had to get here for 20 minutes today knock it out for 500 bucks and I'll be on my way so that's why I say it's like a seesaw because last time um it was a lot of work um it was hard I'm not gonna lie it really was hard but I'm not complaining or anything I'm just saying the reality of it all this time it was easy when I worked with them next time it might be hard again who knows we'll, we'll just have to see but um just like a seesaw man a seesaw all right, I'm here at the dump. Uh, I'm out of the dump. <laughs> it looks like it has gonna be no weight. I weighed in at like 14,300 pounds. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's pretty darn close to what my truck and trailer weighs just by itself. So, I don't know. This might be real cheap, we'll see. 
but it said on that sign when I was first driving in that they're raising the tonnage up to $45 per ton come March 1st. I'm like, gosh, man, inflation. <laughs> killing me, man, killing me. It's all right, though, you know. They raise their rates, I raise my rates. This is how, how life is, you know. This is how it has to be. Go ahead and, go ahead and dump, y'all. Yo. Yo, you guys ever notice that dumps be the most beautiful sights, though? Like, look at that. <laughs> Hilarious. It's a no. Don't forget to for your key to open up the to kill to get you're not to take it all ball by hand easily. I mean at least this time it wasn't that much of debris. But next time it may be costly. Alright guys, it's the next day, it's Wednesday. Today I'm going to check out well me and my wife. Uh, we're going to check out this one job. It's a pool backfilling and demo pretty much. So I'm heading over right now. We're 24 minutes out. Um, that's the plan for today. I don't really have anything else really planned, but sometimes, some weeks, it goes like this. You just got to do a lot of estimates and close jobs for the future. So now in the future, you have jobs to do, but I'll catch up with you guys when I'm there. Um, I'm not even meeting the guy there. It's, a, it's actually a small hotel, a motel. And he said, just go check it out, give him a price. And then he'll decide if he even wants to still get it taken out. He said he just wants to see how much it will cost him. Um, We'll just see. He said that um, either I can just fill it in with dirt, get the water out, or maybe like depending on what the the um the um permits say. He said either just fill it in and grade it out, or maybe we might have to take the whole thing out. We'll just have to see. Obviously, that plays a big uh, role in the price of it all. But yeah, we're heading over there now. 20 minutes. I'll see y'all there. Okay, so he wants to get this full this pool back filled and uh, get all the water removed get all the water disconnected from it the water pumps and everything and uh get it back filled because he says this is a hotel by the way our motel he says nobody uses it and uh he just wants to get rid of it so alrighty that's pretty much what it is bring some dirt in it's not even deep it's like it's three feet right here and five feet over there oh that's nothing that's about i mean it's, it's a decent size but this is about like 10 yards of that all right guys so it's thursday i'm getting a late start on the day because uh that at&t cell cell outage i need my cell phone to get around and to do things so when my cell phone was out i couldn't go to get the deposit and come back because I, I wouldn't have my gps and also i need a means to be able to contact my wife because we have a newborn baby but right now i'm going to get it because my cell phone came back on so that's what we're doing and uh it's a, it's a deposit for the job for tomorrow for the shed removal. And I decided I'm going to sub that one out to one of my sub subs. And uh, we're going to do it just like that. Um, I'm going to collect 500, pay him a thousand to knock it down. He's bringing this kid in his dump trailer. And um, I'll, I'll bring my dump trailer too, let him fill up my dump trailer. But he's paying for all the dump fees and everything of that nature. And I'll be there on the job just so I can make sure everything gets done correctly. Um, I don't sub my jobs out too much. I usually do myself, but I figured this one might be one that I might want to sub out. Uh, it's not something that I can I can do. I'm still capable of doing it, but I decided that it makes more sense for me to sub it out in this scenario. So I'm going to get the deposit for that, for the shed job I showed you earlier this week. And um, I'm going to be subbing it out tomorrow. He's going to meet me there at uh, 10 a.m. probably. And uh, he's going to knock it out, fill the dump trailers. And that's that. But yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys, right here, my customer for the shed job actually referred me to this church that needs to get this building removed. So this just goes to show if you guys build a right gear relationship with your customers, they will refer you to other people and they will give you more jobs. Right here, this is right here is probably a ten to twenty thousand dollar job because the building is made out of cinder blocks. It's a pretty big building, and they want to get the whole thing demolitioned. And they want to get the, the water removed and the electricity removed and just get this whole building removed. So since that's the case, um, it's going to be ten to 20000 around that range. I didn't do the math yet because I didn't write up the estimate or anything. But, yeah, so just make good relationships with your customers and it will be rewarding to you and your business. All right, guys, picked up the deposit from that customer. Um, she actually referred me to this job back here. So hopefully I can close this one. It's a demo of this building on this church. Um, so hopefully we can get that done, but, uh, I, was, I haven't talked to spoke to the customer yet. It's just, uh, I wanted to go ahead and check it out. Cause she told me about the information of the job. 
and they said they want to get this building out. They asked for my contact information since I'm doing the job for her. And uh, I'm hoping I can give them a good quote. I'm, I'm thinking about 10 to 15,000 to get this all knocked out because it's made out of cinder blocks and bricks. And it's a pretty hefty building, but it's not nothing I can't do. It's easy, straightforward. Take it all down, pick it all up, take it to the dump. Yeah, I probably just ran a dumpster for this one, of course, like two or three dumpsters, fill it all up. And yeah, I do it like that. But um, yeah, just a little update for you guys. Um, Thursday seemed pretty promising, even though it started all kind of bleak with the uh, phone situation, but it turned out pretty pretty decent for me. Got a deposit, ready to go for that job tomorrow. And um, yeah, so I'll catch y'all tomorrow. I don't got anything else planned for today. And uh, yeah, that'll be that. I gotta send off one quote though for that pool job. The guy was okay with 3,500, so we're gonna be moving forward with that. And uh, he wants me to go ahead and see how much the permits are gonna cost because he's gonna pay for the permits. And uh, he's gonna pay me to do all the demo and get that pool filled back in. So we'll see how that all plays out. I'm gonna send over a quote tonight for him and uh, send over a contract to him. And that'll be that. Perfect. I made the business, <clears throat> the executive business decision to uh, actually bring my, my excavator because I figured, I mean, I could have subbed it out to him, but it would have made it super hard on him <clears throat> just bringing a skid. He could have got it done, but it would just took him forever. So I figured I'd just bring the excavator, get it out there on the job, get it done, and we can just get it done much faster. But uh, that's just the decision I decided to make. So I'm about to strap it down. I'm just putting it up there right now. Um, I have it in there. I'm, I don't have it strapped in yet, but like, I know I got to strap down the bucket, but like, I think this is the best I'm gonna get it. I forget how I had it before. I had it perfectly before when I was traveling with it before, but uh, I forget how I had it. So this is what it's gonna be like for now. I'm gonna put a yellow strap across that, put some chains, obviously four going to each corner. And uh, we have enough space lengthwise, so, but I, I noticed when I backed up, it would make the tilt, the trailer tilt forward like this. So this is the best spot for it. So the bucket's gonna have to stay where it's at. And uh, when I was loading it up, I used these uh, um, car jacks and uh looks like two off a piece on the bottom of my trailer i'm gonna have to bang that back up and then uh weld it back up under here because it's all bent up now which isn't really ideal but at least the jack held looks a little bowed out but <clears throat> it held but yeah so this is how i got it that's what i'm gonna do and yeah <clears throat> all right guys so it's friday and um Today, we're doing that shed removal job. I'm heading out there right now. I gotta stop and get some gas, put some gas in, uh, or diesel. Gotta put some diesel inside uh, my truck and inside of the excavator to top it off with some diesel gas. And uh, that's what we're doing today. So I'm heading over there right now. We're only 27 minutes from the job, so we're not far at all. I got everything strapped down nicely. Um, should have no problems with the DLT or nothing like that. I mean, I, I shouldn't see him anyway, so I'm not going on the highway, but yeah. But here we go, getting this day started, man. I'll see y'all when we get there. Let's see what I guess with this the excavator. demolish how uh, we gotta do the cleanup it was stuck on the fence for a while so we're tussling with that but it's all done but yeah i'm about to start picking it up and then just turn this out the dump trailer let me get my chains out of there first I put close up the uh doors
got my dump trailer full. I gotta strap that down and make it look a little better. I just cleaned up the street a little bit. Um, this whole pile, this is all that's left of the shed. We got Devin's dump trailer all filled up. Look at that truck, man. That looks sweet. That ram. Diesel, of course. Devin's dump trailer all filled up. We gotta go dig to the dump. And then uh, we'll, be back. we'll be back. Oh, you just gonna put the tarp on? That makes sense. That makes sense, actually. I'm just gonna strap mine down. All right, we're going to dump right now. We have a little bit more debris like left, like I showed you guys. Um, hopefully this one dump tank, so they said they don't take pressure treated wood, but luckily, we might be lucky because this shed was made in 1916 and it's been around for 100 years. So they, I don't think back then they had pressure treated, but we'll just have to see, I guess. Dump. It's smaller dump, but it's closer. Sometimes it's just closer than it could be. That's what it is. There's a lot of dust out here. Pretty sweet though. Uh, this is where we're at. We got this little bit of stuff up here over there. Um, Try to grade that out. And uh, we're almost finished. We're gonna put it all in that one dump trailer and we should be good. Yep. Yeah. One dump trailer still clear. Yep, yeah, we should be good. All right guys, so this is the remaining of everything. It's a little dark, so I have to use the excavator's light so I can show you guys what's going on. Got to grab my gas can, my diesel can, of course. And uh, I greeted everything now to so the best of my ability with the excavator. Um, the shed is completely gone, as you can see. <laughs> it's vanished. Nah, it didn't vanish. Took that thing down, man. But yeah, there's little stragglers that we couldn't get up, obviously, but I mean, can't get perfect. I think I need to get a grapple rake. The ones with the holes in the bottle so I don't pick up too much dirt, but also I can pick up all the debris. Yeah, but this is the finished product. Pretty decent, pretty decent. It's crazy to think that there used to be a whole structure that was right there, but now it's no more. And I think it's like six o'clock or something right now. So we've been here all day. We got here at 10 a.m., 6 p.m. is when I'm leaving. Uh, uh, Devin wanted to go dump the last little bit. We filled up his dump trailer for that last little pile that was in the front. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. I gotta pick up this little stragglers right here. Put it on my dump trailer. I'll dump it later or something. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, I'll cut to get, catch it back up with you guys once we get back to the office. But that's what we're looking at. All right, guys. So it was actually later in the day after me completing that shed job. I just got back home. I took a shower. Now I'm relaxing. It's a little bit later in the night. But I just wanted to get this last little section of the video up so um, I can kind of wrap this video up and get it out to you guys. This is my first time trying out <clears throat> the week in the life of um, an excavation operator or a skill loader business guy, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I think it went pretty well. I mean, I can show in these videos more of my personal life. I don't know if you guys want to see that, but I can show it. So let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see more of that or if you guys are just cool with the business side because either or works for me. Um, as you can see this week, it wasn't really the most eventful week. I mean, it was it was eventful, but I wasn't doing that many jobs. I was mostly doing estimates because I'm pretty much preparing myself for the future for these next couple coming up months because it really gets really busy. So I want to get people on the schedule so I can be good and I don't got to worry about running around with like my look like a chicken with his head cut off and trying to close jobs and do this and a third. To have people scheduled out, it always works a lot better because you're already organized and you're ready to go you know what day you're gonna to get to each job. So that's just a little bit of advice for me um, and what I think works the best, honestly. But um, yeah, like, I mean, it wasn't the, the, the biggest week for doing a bunch of jobs, but uh, I definitely was out there working. And uh, I definitely still did some two decent jobs this week that had me a revenue over $2,000, which is great. I mean, if you're making over $2,000 in revenue a week for your business, that's always great. So yeah. But uh, I think that's pretty much going to wrap the video up for today. I'm not going to sit here and ramble you guys' heads off. Um, I think that's all pretty much. I mean, that that gravel, I mean, that uh, shed job was pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, and this week went pretty well. So I'm hoping to close some of these jobs that I've been speaking to these customers about from this week. And uh, yeah, you guys will be seeing it in the future. But uh, with that being said, go ahead and like, subscribe, show you guys some love. 
leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about this type of content and this video that i made for you guys do you want to be do you want me to be more in depth with my life with the week in every with the week in the life of a solopreneur or do you guys want me to just keep it business let me know um um and like i always say give your life to jesus christ Get in that Bible, repent of your sins, and um, just you know build that relationship with with God, man. Like it's it's really important. Like I can't stress it enough because you know it's just to me it's, it's the most important thing. But I mean I I need to you know convey that to you guys so you guys can kind of understand and feel how I'm feeling, and then maybe you guys will be like, hey, I understand what this, what he's talking about now. So I don't know. This is how I can kind of get it to you. So hopefully that you guys can, you know, take that step and, you know, just take that that leap of faith. I mean, I, I promise you, you won't regret it. And, um, yeah, it'll change your life. Trust me, for the better. So, uh, all right, I'll catch you all on the next one. Um, I'm going to go get some sleep. I'm tired. And uh, stay blessed out there, y'all.